Hello there and welcome back to the colony with man and the ants. So today we're going to take a quick look at Red Out. Last time we had a little bit of a go at Radial G, something I had played before, something I kickstarted many, many moons ago now. What is all that down there, I wonder? Weird. Weird. Oh, it's the different menus and stuff. Okay, that's quite clever, actually. So if I click... I was wondering if I'd just float up to it, but that doesn't seem to be how it works. That's fine. So yes, Red Out, as I said in Radial G... Okay. I got into a bit of conversation with some dude on Twitter a while back. He was playing Red Out, or it might have been on YouTube. He was playing Red Out. I'd played Radial G, and we talked a little bit about them. Uh, I convinced him to pick up... Does that mean I can't use that one? I convinced him to pick up... Yes, I can't use that one. Uh, Radial G, and he convinced me to pick up Red Out, which I haven't actually got around to playing. So here I am. What was the first one? This one. Speed, not much energy... Grip and structure it does look really cool. That one, that one's all about acceleration and energy pool. That one's disgusting. That one's energy pool mainly, it doesn't have much max speed at all. That's all about the speed. That one, it's kind of like a futuristic taxi. So, it's going to be the first one, I think, which is very wipeout ish. Or well, this one, yeah, let's go for this one. Oh, it does have a low structure. What does this one have in terms of structure? A little bit better. All right, let's try this one then. The Vanguard is an amazing all-rounder, featuring good handling and a top-notch sprint. Cool. Yeah, that'll do. Why not? You are now ready to race. Select your first event. So, yes. The guy I spoke to had very high things to say about this. As I said, I've not really got around to actually playing at any point. Power-ups. Unlockable at level 3. We only have one ship. So media this seems a little bit more polished than Radial G does. The fact we've got a garage, the fact we've got power-ups, it all seems a little bit more, just a little bit more polished. Um, and that's the event. So let's just, just a pure time trial thing. All right, let's do that. Let's do that. We get rewards for money, so that must be used to, what's supposed to use to unlock other ships, isn't it? Because there are different tiers of ships. All right then, so first impressions then. Pretty good, pretty good. Good job, game, good job. Oh, I like that. I like the kind of low poly ground. That's nice. Oh, this looks awesome. This looks awesome. Look at that. Uh, press any button to continue. Two. So we don't have a ship. We're just floating. Oh, so it is a proper, proper wipeout style then. All right. Oh, game's paused. Oh, I see. Right, yeah, straight right to, con right to continue. It is full-on wipeout mode. That's what this is. I think I didn't hit accelerate again after I did that, or at least I didn't. Not to the point where I recognised it. Okay, yes, this is like virtual reality wipeout then. I played a lot of wipeout 2097. But obviously, that was some time ago now. Oh, what was that? Not played any of the other wipeouts. The fiance did pick up what's it the end uh, wipeout, what do they call it? Use pitch control to face steep slopes without grinding the floor. Oh Did you have to do that and wipe out? I can't remember. I don't recall having to do it, but what do I know? What do I know? Don't miss that, whatever that is. New yeah, that was a bit sloppy. That was a bit sloppy. Oh, we do have a boost, don't we? We'll wait till we get a bit of a... Oh, we do have a boost. There we go. Not much, because we've got a low energy ship, but still. I'm sure that's going to help. Six seconds under our previous time. I wonder if that would give us like an immediate energy boost. We didn't seem to. I'm sure that weather is a bit different there. Oh, yeah, I tried to be a bit too clever there. Bit too clever. This is where we have to pitch ourselves up. 
Gained another second on our previous time. Nice. Well, how fast was that one? 105. No, 106. Oh, God, we haven't done the silver. We only got bronze. Come on, then. We can do this. Can we? A little bit under. I suppose it might be one of these things where you have to come back to it later on. When you've got a bit of a power-up or something, or a bit of better ship to get that elusive gold. Oh, we're catching ourselves a little bit, but we're uh, getting a little bit closer. Pitch up, pitch up, pitch up. Oh, a full second under, apparently. Don't really know how that happened. Probably because we didn't hit any walls, and then we immediately did. How are we doing? How are we doing? Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's a silver. I'm happy with that. Congratulations. Silver medal awarded. I would like to see my ship, to be honest with you. I'd like to see my ship. Can I see my ship? No. No, I can't. Okay. Cool. Cool. So, yeah, first impressions then. Really good, actually. Really good. Pure race. Is there a way of getting to the... Oh, that's the... Uh... No, I see if we get to the options. See if I could see if... I'm sure it said that the D-pad was... Camera controls. I'm sure, I'm sure. But it didn't seem to do anything in terms of camera controls. Can't actually... I've done that brilliant thing that I do where I... Uh... Three, two, one. Oh god, I wasn't ready for that. Where I cover up the clock so I can't see how long I've been going. So it's given us the same track we've already done, which is nice. It gives you a time trial, give you three laps to improve your time. Then gives you a race. That's nice. I like the way it does that. He's a speedy little bugger. I just clipped that wall and he went flying past me, look. Nice little bit of dust coming up from him there. What are those, I wonder? Oh, that's terrible. That was terrible. I mean, it's a race record. It's not a, not a lap record, love. Oh, you little son of a bitch. Did he just spin me around? I didn't know that was a thing? I don't recall that ever happened in a wipeout. Catching. Pitch up. Oh, and the finish is close. Oh, he's messed up. He's messed up. It's just this corner, I think, isn't it? Yep. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, he was close. Oh, that was fast. Boom. Awesome. Shame there isn't a way to do like a replay or something. I would like to uh would like to get a look at that. We were both using the same ship as well, look, so I did just best him. Which is nice. 
You can't tell, but I'm doing the thing when you blow on your nails and then rub it on your top because you're... I don't know what they even mean. What do you even do that for? I don't know. Well, I unlocked the level three, so we're not there yet. Another time attack? How, many, uh, how do we change these? Oh, I see. So it's just four for the moment, I guess, and then... Oh, so that's a bit different, look. Time attack and then a pure race. Oh, there are different pages? Oh, no, I just swaps you between those. Yeah, the only negative I'll have with the game, and it's a very, very minor thing, but it's like the select back and leadable buttons seem like they've been stretched somewhat. That's a little bit odd. But that's the closest I can get to having any kind of issue with the game. Max speed was a thousand kilometers an hour. That's insane. Almost level three. Lots of ship upgrades, look. Right, if there are 28 ships, how many upgrades is that? Four upgrades per ship? Something like that. There are upgrades to the power-ups as well. Oh, I'm really enjoying this. I am really enjoying this. Three, two, one, go. As I said, I have been... Uh, I did do Radio G last time. I am doing this this time mentioned in the Radio G video, but the reason I'm kind of doing these uh, round and little quick looks is because we are a series down on the channel at the moment. So I figured I'd do a few quick looks, see if there's anything that you guys particularly liked, or see if anything I particularly liked, until we settled on a series. I was thinking about doing uh, Windlands, which is essentially VR Spider-Man. It's the easiest way of getting across. Because I haven't really played much. I played a tiny little bit, but that was before it had touch support. Before I had touch controllers, in fact, I should say. Oh, hello. Pitch up. There you go. New record. Didn't use the old uh, strafe there. Used too much strafe there. Trying to be fancy. So this is going to be one of those where you basically don't let go of the accelerator, but you use brake and strafe. Is that what we're thinking we need to do? Oh, I thought that corner was going to be sharper than that. So we need to breach our 52. Oh, that's long. That's long. Through the scenery. Jesus. That's a one kilometer jump. So we have got a medal, which is nice. We've actually got a silver medal somehow. Don't think we were doing quite as well as that, but all right. And we're already about a second under our last lap. Must have been flying into that last one. Gained a little bit of time, somehow, because I didn't think it'd been that smooth. There's that corner, it isn't as smooth as I think, or as sharp as I think it's going to be. Ooh, not going to beat it. Finish. Not going to beat it. Could be our best lap? No, not far off, though. Congratulations. Silver medal awarded. Silver will do. I would like to get a good look at my ship menu. If you could bugger off, that'd be awesome. All right, continue. We've unlocked power-ups. All right. Have we now? You can purchase and install power-ups on your and upgrade. Ship. Active power-ups need to be manually fired during a race. Okay. Look at this. How much money do you have? 12,000. An EMP blast. Energy drain. Absorbs damage from collision. Oh. Well. Well, well, well. 
guess we might go for the uh, EMP blast, maybe? Let's do the EMP blast. Yes. What have we got over here? Increases your energy recharge rate and improves your turbo boost. Max speed and acceleration boost. Increases structure, increases grip, reducing drift. While trailing an opponent. So I think we will just go with that one then. I think we'll go with the first one again, that makes sense. We can upgrade that for 3,000. What's this cost to upgrade? Also 3,000. We won't worry about that for the moment. How do you actually... Power-ups. Equip. Equip. Yeah, okay. Let's take a quick look in the garage then. So I don't have access to class 2 yet. We need to be level 6 and it costs 30 grand. Level 15 and 50. Level 22. Okay, all right. Let's have a go at one more race then, and we'll probably leave that there. I have thoroughly enjoyed this though, so I might do, I don't know if I'll do a full series, but I might do another video or two on it. Let me know if that's something you'd like to see. Oh, hello, that was weird. So this is another track we haven't raced on, so we'll have to be a little bit of learning on the job is what we got going on here, a little bit of learning on the job. Oh, well, that's what happens when you learn on the job. Near immediate death. Now, it does seem to have locked our power-ups for this, doesn't it? Oh my God, I don't even know what I was doing there. I'm first. Oh my god, how did that happen? That was a terrible lap. That was better. That was better. That was bad. Don't know what that does. Keep hitting it and I've got no idea what it does. Better, better, but not great. Love these gaps in the track as well. They're awesome. Congratulations. Cool. Yes, thank you. I did get a gold medal. Menu's a little bit jerky. I don't know if that's because it... I'd say if it... Well, I was wondering if it's a frame rate thing, but... The rest of the game seems pretty spanking, so I don't think it is. Now, there's no Vanguard there to take us on. I think that's why we did okay. All right, then. Well, like I say, I'm going to leave that there. Then we are at level four now, which is amazing. I'm going to leave that there. I don't think the levels do much more apart from power-ups or... No, none of those seem to be level locked. Is that level locked? You wanted to upgrade it? No, it doesn't seem to be either. So just the ships, really, and then locking that in the first place. It doesn't seem to do much more apart from that. So that was Red Out. As I say, I did quite enjoy that just a little bit. We've done four now. So what happens now? Last man standing, time attack, pure time attack and race. What's the difference between those two? Don't really know. Don't really know. Cool. All right, then. So if you did want to see a bit more Red Out, do let me know. If you just specifically didn't want to see it for whatever reason, I guess also let me know because then I will... Do see, I'll see about avoiding it and doing something different instead. Like I say, if you wanted to see some Windlands, do let me know that also down in the comments. I might do a quick look at it anyway, just because it's been a while since I played it. I want to see what it's like with the touch. Really, really do. So I hope you enjoyed that little look at Red Out then. If you did enjoy it, please do click the like button. Obviously, you don't have to, but it is appreciated if you do. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And of course, of course, of course, any comments, leave them down below and I'll get back to you when I see them. Otherwise, I will see you next time, maybe in Red Out, maybe in Windlands. Who knows what it's going to be? It's a mystery. But thank you very much for joining me. And I will also hopefully see you Wednesdays at 6pm for the regularly scheduled streams. 
I'll be doing 6 p.m. UK time, that is, I should say. I'm doing Shadow of War at the moment, so come along and say hello and watch me get stomped by orcs, basically. Which is what's been a bit of a common theme. But there we go. Thank you very much for joining me.